John Mitchell never intended to be a pioneer. The thought of being the University of Alabama's Jackie Robinson never entered his mind when he was growing up in Mobile. At the time, integration in the South was still a novelty, including most of the athletic teams in the SEC. John believed his only way to attend college was on his academic merit. John was one of five African-American students on the Williamson High Science Team that won competitions in Mobile and then the state title. The quintet finished third at a National Science Fair competition in South Carolina, earning them academic scholarships to a number of schools, including Alabama and Auburn. But John Mitchell wanted to play football, and a former Williamson High player had matriculated at Eastern Arizona Junior College in Thatcher, Arizona. When he got there, he was in for a surprise. Eastern Arizona was a Mormon school. It would be just one of several surprises that would come his way the next couple of years. Undersized out of high school, Mitchell added weight to his 6'3 frame, and big time schools began to take notice after he was an All-American for the second straight year. One day the phone rang and it was Southern California coach John McKay on the other end. Mitchell thought it was a joke, but it wasn't. USC had Sam Cunningham and Charles Young host him, and it looked like he would open his college career playing against Alabama in the Los Angeles Coliseum. A few weeks later, Coach McKay was having dinner with his close friend, Paul Bryant, and mentioned he was going to sign this great player from Mobile. Well, Alabama coaches called every Mitchell in the Mobile phone book until they finally got John's dad. And after the Blue Bonnet Bowl, three Crimson Tide coaches were in the Mitchell living room offering John a scholarship. A few months later, he would play an integral part in Alabama's stunning 17-10 upset of John McKay's USC Trojans. Mitchell immediately became an all-star player and a member of the close-knit team that win two SEC championships. Wilbur Jackson, who had signed with Alabama the year before to officially break the color barrier, but it was Mitchell who was the first starter, first All-American, and first team captain. Always an outstanding student and leader, he earned membership in the prestigious ODK Honor Society while at Alabama. Drafted in the sixth round by the San Francisco 49ers, John wanted to earn his master's degree, and when Coach Bryant offered him a chance to coach, he jumped on it. He led a successful college coaching career, including stints at Alabama, Arkansas, and LSU, where he became the SEC's first black defensive coordinator. John has become one of the NFL's premier defensive minds. For the past 15 years, he has been an assistant for the Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers, working for Bill Cowher and Mike Tomlin. He and his wife Joyce call the Steel City home, but coming home to Alabama is always special. The two men he credits for his success are his dad and Coach Bryant. Tonight, John Mitchell will join his famous coach as a member of the State of Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. <laughs>